The reason your leads are ghosting you, your pipeline is chaos, and your lifetime value is lower than you want it to be has nothing to do with your team or your offer. It's your CRM. And the way you set up your CRM is costing you deals, profit, and a lot a peace of mind every single day. The system I'm about to show you has made me eight figures and has made my clients tens of millions of dollars. And no, this isn't just about tagging or building automations. This is about building a machine that allows you to close deals, get your clients to pay you more and scale your operations without them breaking. Let me show you exactly what you need to build in your CRM to do just this. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jordan Ross. I'm the founder of Eight Figure Agency. We're a consulting firm that helps marketing agency owners build businesses that work without them. And one of the most important things you need to do is step out of your sales process if you're actually going to build a business that works without you. Let's dive straight into this because I wanna show you how we've built my custom go high level sales machine that has enabled me to make, like I said, over eight figures and it's kept things really smooth. Now. There's a few disclaimers I wanna make when it actually comes to building your CRM. One of the core principles I believe is that your operation starts in your CRM. If you're going to automate and scale with really great efficiency, you have to have a really good CRM. Now, the basic first step is you wanna map out what are all the steps and phases. So you could see here, I have my partner, Ben Sternberg. He's my partner in Eight Figure Finance. We're an accounting and bookkeeping firm that really just does better than every single other tax firm and bookkeeping firm you've ever worked with. So you should go to eightfigurefinance.com in case you're bookkeeper sucks. I have him as a fake account here. And when you are starting your pipeline, you just need to step one, map out every single step. Call booked, call two, no show, offer made, you need a follow up, invoice send, closed one, stale, lost, feature. We have multiple pipelines here as well that we have our SDRs and our lead magnets that we run ads to. This video is just gonna show you just this process because just right here is really where you make the money. When I'm on call with a prospect, we have different sections. So everything you're seeing here is completely different in all of my businesses. All my businesses, we customize the cards. So when we start with a client and when you're thinking about this for your business, one of the things you need to think about is like, what are the opportunity details that we care about? What do we need to see both in notes and future follow-ups and commissions and contracts? And just put plainly, you either need to have someone help you map this out or you need to map it out because all of these points are data, right? When we unqualified people, we have different reasons. Unqualified leads who are low on revenue get put into a nurture sequence on a 12 month basis. Unqualified leads that get put into needs lead gen get sent over to my company that could actually send them leads. And I'm sorry if you are in one of these countries, uh, we just, the dollar ratio just has not made sense. When it comes to this framework, this is where we put all of our client notes but in a worst case scenario, we also have all of our calls automatically from Fireflies input it into the notes section. Because what happens is we have an automatic sales handoff, which you'll see it later on. The biggest and arguably the most important sections of your CRM for automation purposes are your offer notes, your contract details, and what I just showed you on notes. You need to make sure there's an integration. Taking things through, if I talk to Ben, I don't make an offer, we're gonna move him to call two. If I make him an offer, he's gonna get an offer made. Now honing in on this, depending on the offer Ben gets, I have several different offers in my portfolio that this one CRM could tag. So each single automation has several different triggers and specifics that could be tied to it. So if I pick a discovery offer, the consulting type is done for you. If I pick my CEO, Matt, as the account manager, and then I say, we're just doing a discovery of $5,000. We're going through these sections and Ben uses go high level and he uses ClickUp. Putting this details in here will allow me to start to customize onboarding, contracts, and fulfillment. These things, when we get to fulfillment, templatize and let my fulfillment team know what they're walking into. And here's the big thing for you. In your business, you have different offers. Each offer has different nuanced things. I spoke to an SEO agency and he told me that clients sometimes get a different amount of backlinks. They get a different amount of blogs. They're paying a different amount. They're getting a different amount of hours. And all of these things you want them to be in here. In a prior video, I mentioned how we've worked with and we are working with a cabinetry business. We have this person go in to their customer on site. And when they're showing up on site, they're getting all the details and that's going into their CRM, into the custom section we built for them. I've done this for ad agencies. I've done this for CRO agencies. I've done this for content agencies. Put simply, your automation for sending a client a custom scope and automating the onboarding and fulfillment starts in here because you could put in the agency name, 
client name, their email, and you have their offer. And when done correctly, you're gonna get something like this. When I sent this over as an example for Ben, we have the ability inside Go High Level to automate contracts, which we do. So I stopped using both PandaDocs and DocuSign. I was using both just for different reasons. And that saved us over $100 a month, over $1,000 a year. So this offer that we had sent to Ben, the discovery and roadmap, he got in his inbox automatically. It was automatically sent to him, which for you and your prospects, you want your prospect to see that within 10, 20 minutes of you making an offer, there's a custom offer like and scope in their inbox. And this just shows that you're on the ball. But think about like, if you don't have this automated, you're probably spending a time changing documents. You're making probably spending 30 minutes to an hour each time. This is just a total waste because it literally, you do this one time, you spend a couple hours building this one time, it automates sending that scope. Once we move this prospect from OfferMate, you could also send them to Invoice Sent. We have recently tied Square, but you could use Stripe into Invoice Sent, where every time we send a client an invoice via the card, it automatically sends. You could also build this automation into OfferMate, so when you send them an offer, they get the scope, and inside the contract, there's also a button to pay the invoice. I think that's the easiest way. Once we close a deal, we move someone to closed one. As I said, this is where you're onboarding starts. Now there's two parts of your onboarding that are really relevant. Number one, your client onboarding. The second a deal is closed, that is when buyer's remorse kicks in. If you don't do this well, you have 48 hours in which buyer's remorse will kick in. If you do not prime your clients well, priming just for definition purposes is the psychological principle that states we are influenced by our environment. We can intentionally prime our clients to stay with us longer. And the ways we do that is we send them positive signals that we're a great vendor. When we close any deal, there's gonna be an automated email, as you could see here, that's sent to our clients. And we have very custom scripts and templates that we made to let them know what they could expect and what is coming. Now, once again, this is gonna increase your client's LTV because they're gonna see how professional you are. They're gonna see how quick you are. And one of my favorite things that we have made, that we make for all of our clients and we make for ourselves is an automated handoff report. Just to show you how it works and why it works, our handoff report is an automated process that we connect Go High Level into OpenAI and we built a handoff agent. Now this is something that we're gonna depreciate from OpenAI and move in over to N8N, but we have all of the call analysis. And this just has all my calls I ever do with Ben because he's my business partner and I talk to him multiple times a week. But for a sales prospect, if there's a lot of information, if there's a very long sales cycle also, that could be a really complex handoff. That could take a 30 minute meeting. But why would you ever waste a 30 minute meeting when you could have literally every single thing here covered and automated? We automate this handoff in the sales handoff report, right? What we said we're gonna do, what we're gonna cover, and you could customize this so all these things are automatically filled in. Before we go forward, one of my best leaders ever worked for at Amazon once told me, you can't expect what you don't inspect. And in your business, you're missing things that are keeping you stuck. You're keeping you stuck at a seven figure level and you're never gonna hit your goal of building an eight figure agency or business if you don't find out what those things are. I built a custom self-assessment that you can go through to learn and understand all the 13 systems that keep your business from thriving or enable it to grow. And if any three of these systems are stuck or are broken, you'll never hit your goals. So if you click the link below, you could download and self drive this assessment to learn what those 13 systems are and everything you need to do to actually hit your goals and stop being so stuck. Thank you and back to the video. Now to round this out, my go high level is extremely comprehensive. It covers funnel to marketing to SDR pipeline to automations, to automate automatic follow-up. It covers everything. And when people grab a lead magnet, they end up in my SDR pipeline. My SDR pipeline has a lot of automations, which I'll make a video about it soon in the near future. And my sales pipeline is dialed in to enable a smooth streamlined operation for both my sales team and my clients. It gives us the ability to hand off very well to my fulfillment team, which is the first step if you wanna automate your project management. And when we close deals, we are sending over templates into project management that automatically start the kickoff and project management process for both our clients and our team. This is everything you need to actually automate your business. If you don't have this, you're probably gonna save at least five hours a week or 10 hours a week collectively on your team by building some of these simple automations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click this next video to watch and learn how you can prepare your business to become a fully agentic business. Because guys, if you do not do this, you will not be in business in the next two to three years. See you then.